he might not even be hooked very well. Get him, Coleslaw. Get him, Coleslaw. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, you can both sit there, right? Shake the bank, Cole. You ready to go fishing? What is up, MFers? It's freaking cold outside, but you know what? That's okay. Loaded up our children. It's take your, your kids to work day. We're out here at a lake that uh, we heard the bite's been really, really good lately. It's early. The water's only 41 degrees. It's showing up on the chart right now, but um, I think we're gonna be able to get out today and throw a couple baits, some very, very slow baits, and hopefully catch some damn fish. Put myself, maybe coleslaw on a fish or two. Maybe Cole will snag one. We'll see, I'm not sure. If you guys like the bass fishing videos, I'll drop a, a little playlist down below for some of the bass fishing stuff if you want to actually be able to go out and catch some fish even if it's really cold right now but hopefully we're able to teach you guys some stuff i think it's gonna be a fun day out here today freaking jacked let's get some i don't even know why this is on the deck just because it is i guess but jerk and stick time all right it is cold outside there's bass to be caught and there's schools of freaking bait fish everywhere water's a little dirtier than i usually like for this but we're gonna start with the old jerk bait same one i had tied on yesterday look at that wow you can already see schools of fish wonder what those are i bet i have an idea what those are watch out em Let's see if this is what i think it is Ooh, got bit already <laughs> I think it is what I think it is. I think it is what I think it is. We've got a little pan optics guy going. So we're just gonna cheat. Look at what these fish are. And then we're just gonna try to match our jerk bait to what they are. Look at that guy's going after it. You can see him on the screen. He got it. That was cool. Saw exactly what it was. And that is the culprit, coleslaw. This is exactly why I left the uh, crappie rig on the front deck because schools of these guys is probably what all these big bass that live in here are eating this is the pct pro crappie tour okay now that we've established that they're crap eyes let's catch one on this jerk game over oh look one of them's hurt he's twitching around Whew, look at all them You bet. You bet. Little crappy eater. Dirty little crappy eater. Look at that. Cole, you should come down here and look at the damn panoptics right now. And you'll see why we had a little crappy eater. Look at that shit. That's what that guy was eating. So these are all crappy right here. Every single one of those is a crappie, hundreds of them. And we're just on a point right here with some scattered brush piles. There's a rock pile here. They can sit in the rock and the brush piles. And I don't know if people don't understand it, they get so dialed in on thinking that shad are the deal, that bass are all eating shad. But around here, crappie, crappie are the freaking deal. Especially this time of year when the crappie get ultra schooled up. We just drove over a spot that had, I don't know, probably thousands, not probably, definitely thousands. At the very least, 500. So we're gonna be fishing around a lot of this stuff. That was a pretty good fish, three and a half, four pounder. What a boat flipped them, but gold spanky here is freaking eyeballing it with three treble hooks we don't want to do that i'll blame it on her anyway and it might not even be freaking a brush pile there it might just be a big old stack of crappie this is so stupid there's so many good bass in this lake why am i messing around with this because it's fun i think kind of emmy no it's funny how smart they get when one gets caught Another one. Cole just told me I need to have more enthusiasm about this. Dude, bro! Damn, bro! Dude, can you believe that fish? It was spinning! Holy shit, it had a friend with him. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> That's a dirt fish right there. Now the thing is, guys, I've been to this lake and I've done it before. And I've this is really cool what we're doing today, but all these clowns on YouTube act like they've never caught a fish every time they get bit. You gotta act like you've been there before sometimes, guys. We're gonna have some damn fun. I'm not it's not that I'm not having a good time or I get comments all the time. Oh dude, it seems like you're not enjoying yourself anymore. No, this is the best freaking thing in the world. You know how much better this is than freaking ice fishing or doing some bullshit and something I don't want to do. This is awesome. You guys see me get excited though a little bit later. We'll hook into some big ones. They're clearly biting. 
This will provoke jerk bait. Things are about to go down. That one had a friend with him that was about three and a half, four pounds, which is something you don't generally see in March when the water's 40 degrees. You bet. Another Gigantor, oh, or that, or that. Craps on a jerks on a craps on a jerks. Freaking stack down there. There's one. Cut myself a bass fish coleslaw right off the Yeti. I was sitting here thinking like, man, there should be some on the Yeti. He's barely hooked too. He just barely got that jerk bait. Watch out, Em. Watch out, this guy's coming in. There we go, that's a little bit more like it. This guy's old Mr. Red Lips. He's down there off this jetty, probably eating some crawdads. Maybe slightly different. God, I barely had him on the provoke there. Sweet, not a giant, but hopefully we get more like that. He's fed right. Just a baby one for here, Cole. Sweet, 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 sweet. Jerkbait looks a little bit like a crappie white and everything got some purple and blue on there and green on the top a lot like a crappie but i got something i'm going to show you guys real quick that i think might help us out today because these fish there's schools of crappie everywhere we even like i caught one on a jerk bait just caught one on a freaking crappie jig too just to see what they were see if they were crappie or bluegill but a little trick up my sleeve though i think it's gonna help us catch a shite little bass all right so everywhere we go we're seeing these giant schools of crappie and i got an idea that's actually based on a company that one of my buddies here locally chancy he just uh he started this company and it's starting to take off pretty big now and he sent me some of his wraps and i was kind of skeptical of it at first but they're called crank wraps and you guys know six cents makes like the best freaking paint jobs in the market but one thing six cents doesn't have in a jerk bait is uh, a crappie color Look how freaking natural that is. Chansey's actually an artist and he puts all these designs together himself. And they make all these different shapes of these uh, these different bait fish patterns, like there's shad patterns, there's bluegill patterns, and they make them for all different styles and sizes of baits. Now this one is a jerk bait one and look at that, a freaking crappie. How perfect is that gonna be? It's made for a Mega Bass 110 or a R Rick Clun 110, but it's a similar profile to the Six Sense jerk bait and so it'll fit on there. And then, I mean, he's got a little bit of everything. We got him for like 10 XDs. He's got a crappie one. We even got him for got him for Magnum spoons. Stuff is freaking crazy. He's got swim bait ones now. So we can make like some trout, crappie, gizzard chad swim baits. And like I said, I was skeptical of them because I didn't know how they would fit the baits. I didn't know how they would stay on the baits. All I've been seeing is freaking pictures of people catching giant fish on them. So we're just gonna take our little sticker here and I put a new jerk bait on, new jerk bait color because I didn't wanna use the wet one. And a lot of these have eyes built on or you can pull the eye off. So we're gonna pull the eye off this guy. But we're just gonna line that eyeball up. Full disclosure, I have put a couple of these on and I know that they line up pretty dang well with the little six cents eye right there. Boom, we got our jerk bait sticker on there. I didn't think that at first there was any way this was gonna be able to stick on here. Worth a shit. But watch how slick this is and how good this goes on here. We'll just wrap our guy here, take our finger and just, we went down the middle of the bait and then we go down the edges of the bait. And this sticker material is durable and it's badass. It's gonna be great because this water has a lot of color to it. And my jerk bait was pretty transparent before. Look how freaking badass that looks now. That is exactly what those fish are eating. So the good thing is you can take any bait you have and I'm as guilty as you guys are with this going to the bait shop and picking up oh that color that'll work even if it's cloudy and the water's 62 degrees on a wednesday afternoon in february as long as there's a warming front but then there's clouds that move in that afternoon and it starts to rain that color will be a perfect color and so you end up with all these shitty colors in your tackle box that you'll never use well now you can take these crank wraps and you can put them on whatever freaking baits you want he's got a couple out for six cents baits too i know you guys have bought a freaking million six cents baits but uh yeah code is going to be mf20 i'm gonna link it at the top of the description right down there just go check it out it's a local small company that's run by good people it's not a big corporation or anything like that but they're making some great products some one of my favorite products that i, I don't even have that i saw online is their craw patterns the craw patterns for crankbaits look ridiculously good i'm just gonna put this other side on here quick 
really quick like i mean as you guys can see you can sit in your boat boom you got a crappie one made up and you for what you figure out they're eating bar fish or tilapia or whatever you rip it off and throw the new one on obviously they're not going to be usable after you you tear them off once but this is just just incredible technology that we have this available to us right now and for cheap you'll be surprised when you go online how cheap these things are guys we got our sticker done it took me a couple minutes just sit down here in the boat probably not even a couple minutes we'll just smooth out some of these seams Make sure it's not catching any water up by the point. And then we got a little bit excess there on the tail. We'll just trim that off with a clipper. And let's uh, let's go see if we can catch some on this guy. But yeah, go support this company, small company, MF20. Save yourselves a lot of money. Cheaper than you can get them anywhere ever been able to get them. How cool does that look? Purple on top, purple on the bottom. Crappy on the sides. Let's catch some. Come on, crank crap, crappy. Tie a jerk bit on the other rods. What you should do. Look at those things. Those are all crops. Dude, throw that jig at him and see if they'll eat it off the top. I'm gonna snag one. Cole, I know that. Oh, we're just crappies eating off the surface. I mean, is there like, what are they eating? Not the jig, apparently. <laughs> Cole, would you stop crappie fishing? How many times I can tell you. Throw a jerk bait, Cole. We need to catch some bass. Just wait. Hold on. Wait. Oh no. Ooh, is that a better one? Nope. Oh Chode craps. Cole snagged one. What do you know? Right in the lip. Oh, <laughs> working my jerk okay. bait here. Now I will pick the jerk bait back. Now you can go back. There we go. Just little ones on the jetties, though, I think. He ate the old wrapped. He thought it was a real crappy Emmy. We tricked him. Done tricked him. We probably should uh, slow the jerk bait down because I haven't had one dong it yet. But hey, look at that. First crank wrap fish of the day. Ow. It was cold as fucking cloudy and the wind was ripping. And it was, there we go. There we go. Might've been the guy. He actually pulled my line tight. No, nope, just a baby guy. Just brace faced. He thought he had himself a crappy dinner though, but instead it's hooked. They're healthy. Crappy fish. Get him slaw. Biggin? Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. slaw got the right kind. Slaw got the right time. Watch out, Em. That'll be in your face. Get him, Cole. Let's watch Cole the Millennial struggle. He'll get pissed off if he loses it. He didn't, though. Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Cole caught that one and he's still mad. Typical. I told you you were going to get one. Barely hooked, dude. Good thing it came in a two pack of crappie jerk bait colors. <laughs> No Slaw. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. That's, that's a, just honestly, that's just a basic average one here. That's not even one of the big kind. Three, three yeah. and a half. Three maybe. and a half, probably. Yeah. Good indeed. Hell yeah. Let me see your bait. Let's just check them. There's some. Must be something wrong with mine. If Cole somehow caught one too. There's my bait. Oh yeah, that's that's way different than mine because it's got scales on top. <laughs> yeah, just... I'm gonna shut up and go catch one now. Good one, Cole. This could very well be very timing related too, with that much of the real thing in the water. Oh, there we go. Ah, why do I keep getting these stupid things? God. The old sideways, sideways Sally here. Got it. I was gonna say my line is slacked. Just had to let it sit and look what this guy did to it. Head first down the gullet. He might not even be hooked very well. Emmy, go on. Oh God, doubled up. Doubled up in this spot. Watch out, Emmy. We're gonna cause problems. There's a bunch more too. Oh no, no. 
lost my jerk bait. What? No. <laughs> oh shit. He had it so deep. He did. It was completely completely gone, gone dude. Nice one, cool. I should have wow. I should have retied, man. Oh no, my fucking camera isn't on. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Mine was a little bit bigger than that. It was definitely, definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Down its gullet, but I think the freaking hook rash or the the uh, teeth got on the line right there when I tried to boat flip it. Because he had that thing completely ah, small. Yeah, it's funny because I, I, I saw the jerk bit, the uh, brush pile and, and rock pile on pan optics. And so once I got by it, I felt it in there. I just like, I'm just letting it sit until one comes up and eats it. And he did. And he did. <laughs> and then Cole got one. And I think there's more. All right, man. Good work. Go to land ears. I should probably put some new line on this. I've caught about a million jerkbait fish on it this year. I started flipping him. I hit him on the side of the boat. And I'm like, oh God, is he flipping his? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> hey, I went Ronnie Kelly boat flips only and it cost me. <laughs> you like that when you can put it down there and you get it in some juice? Dude, jerkbait fishing? Well, this type of jerkbait fishing, this ain't like what most people do jerkbait fishing. Most people just like see some active bait and shit and so they fire it in there and rip the shit out of it. But this type of jerkbait fishing is all about trusting what your bait is doing and where it's at. It takes some serious time to get it right because it's so hard to be like, the boat's moving, the wind's blowing my line, I don't know if I had the right cadence, is the color right, is it in the right spot, and then still be able to leave it down there for freaking five to 15 seconds and not move it. I figured I was gonna lose that bait, but I didn't think it was gonna be like that. Their teeth are sharp. Yeah, the teeth are really substantial this time of year. Yeah, cool, let me see. <laughs> Yeah, their teeth are pretty sharp. I shouldn't try to boat flip that one. Cole's probably got some type of like millennial hemp lotion that he'll have to put on his finger right there to make it heal right. C he'll have some CBD oil on there. They'll be like, aren't you sponsored by Six Cents? Why don't you use the right clippers so they cut your bait? Cut your line. I haven't gotten a sponsorship yet. I just get a discount so I can't afford me at dickheads. Here's these back. Don't leave them with my hand because I'll lose them. Or, dude, make another one. There's probably different stuff. Yeah, Cole, if you can make one and we get it on camera, it'll prove how easy it is to put a crank wrap on. Even Cole the Millennial can do it. Mm, eat it. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Eat it. He got it. Oh, that was so sick. I just watched him on pan optics. <laughs> oh. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, man. In all of my fishing, and that's the best one we've had. We need this one, Cole. Look at him freaking popping his mouth, trying to pop it out. Yeah, buddy. Get him, Coleslaw. Get him, Coleslaw. Okay. What you know about that? Okay. 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 That one will get me a little bit excited. That's dude. bigger than the last couple. Yeah, dude, I got the freaking pan optics. That's a fish right there. And I have my jerk bait sitting about there. And I see the fish like circling it, comes up out of it and circling it. And I'm like, Watch you heard me. I was I watching my line yeah. and then freaking my line just starts going away. That's a grown one. Yeah, that's dude. a probably close to a five pounder. That's a, uh, a solid one with crappie guy. Hey, thanks for the assist, Coleslaw. Since uh, I'm an idiot and broke my crappie guy off. Craziest thing ever. Watch this guy come out of that brush pile and I just left this jerk bait. I was like, that jerk bait looks so real. There's no way that if I leave it right there and this fish is up circling around it, even a big old smart fish like this isn't gonna get it, but let's see the crank wraps work. Beautiful five plus pounder probably. <laughs> there he goes. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Yep. Wow, that's incredible. Even Cole was able to put it on. We ran out of crappie um, stickers because I stole Cole's jerk bait with the crappie on it and then I got broken off from the other one because he choked it so deep and the teeth cut it. So Cole's going with the old blue face white boner looking guy that looks kind of goofy but if you guys throw jerk baits you know stuff like that gets bit sometimes. Kind of looks like clown. These crank wraps come in, in stuff that's super natural and then they come in patterns like that that are really cool that really stick out in our kind of traditional patterns but with a, tw a super natural twist. That's like a photo finish slash clown pattern, you know, pretty cool. It's interesting watching Hank Cherry fish his jerkbait. 
He's uh, he's pretty well known for throwing a jerk bit of shitload. He always does the same cadence everywhere he goes. No matter it's a quick, quick two twitch. Ooh, that looked like my line jumped. That time it did. There's our guy. We just sat there and watched him moving around. I don't think he's a big one. Can't tell though. They're kind of fighting weird today. The crappies are scattering everywhere. Yeah, he ain't a big, big one, but once again, watching the fish on Pamela. Watch out, Em. He's sitting down there. We got crop crappies swimming all over around us. This guy's just swimming around, chewing on crappies. We haven't caught a ton of good fish on jetties, but we switched ends of the lake, so we decided to come try this one. And uh, off the end of the point, we saw in the panoptics, one was just cruising around, and I have every reason to su suspect it was this exact fish. <laughs> Another crappy jerk eater. Sweet. Okay, Cole, so here's something I was very curious about. What up? We've now caught, you caught a four pounder, three pounder, two pounder. I caught that big one, the five pounder. And then that one all on this same bait, the same wrap. And it's like, I thought, you know, hook rash on baits, it would just rip the sticker right off. No kidding. And it hasn't done anything. And that's not to say like, I mean, I haven't tested these enough. I haven't caught dozens or hundreds of fish on them, but there isn't even hook rash on this guy yet. So I mean, maybe we just need to catch more fish. Catch I mean, that's... We'll, we'll just keep experimenting for the MFers at home. Yeah, me just just being nice for them. Yeah, me personally, I thought that you're going to have horrible hook rash. I instantly. did too. I thought it'd be one fish and it would tear it up. And mm -hmm. that's cool because it's a cool looking sticker and you caught that fish. And I'm totally cool with dropping a dollar or whatever it is for a crank wrap every time I catch a big fish. That's fine. But it hasn't been the Matching case. Matching the hatch perfectly. Exactly. Exactly. 50, 60 feet in front of us. Oh, that's a fish coming at me. That's a big fish. Well, I'm going to keep fishing for this crappie. I'm just trying to jerk the <laughs> slack in my line, and it just is keeping coming towards me. Yeah, this is a not small guy. I haven't seen him yet. He might be hooked funky, but I might need a coal special land job. He's a big one. He's a very big one. He's barely hooked. Get that bottom lip, Cole. Nice, man. Oh, nice one, dude. Yeah, bud. So tall. I'm freaking just sitting here talking to you, jerking, and I'm like, I can't feel anything. Another five pounder on the old Provoke crank wrap combo. Anyway, how's it smell? How's it smell? Be careful when they're this big, they're mean. See? All right, get them back in. That feels freaking good. Hey Cole, tip for everyone at home. When you're jerking your jerk bait and then you stop paying attention for a little bit and you just start jerking and it, it's like, I'm just twitching slack. I'm gonna reel up a bit. Yep, still slack. You might wanna reel up and set the damn hook. So I'm out with you guys like I'm not fishing anything right now, but actually there's a ton of underwater rock piles and brush piles, which are what the pan optics is freaking awesome for. We can see out in front of the boat exactly where that piece of cover is but the crazy thing is like like we keep telling you guys there's crappie there's giant schools of crappie everywhere so the bass can really pick and choose and feed when they want but this time of year when the water is really cold they don't want to be out chasing them around when it's summertime there's going to be out chasing the schools around underneath them super active high metabolism they need to eat a lot more well right now this time of year the water is 40 two degrees right here these fish don't want to move and exert a lot of energy so what they're doing is they're just sitting right next to these rock piles these brush piles especially and uh, whenever one of the school crappie rolls by they sit there and freaking chew them so we're just going around the lake side scanning pan opticsing pamela opticsing that is anything hard cover and brush piles especially they seem to really like the brush piles this time of year because they can release vertically off them a little bit more than some of these rock piles they're not quite on a jig bite yet doesn't seem like and once again six cents provoke jerk bait which if you're interested i'll link it below use promo code mf10 like we always talk about with the crank wrap on it mf20 we got all these promo codes cole people go save money man if i was watching this video i'd be like wow I really want to go catch big fish just like they're catching. It'd be really cool if I could save some money on the tackle because I like saving money. Well, guess what? You can do both. Pow! Get him, Cole. Ooh. Ooh. Got him. Cole with the old clown shad. You don't think so, Cole? No. Not with that one hook in there. That's a healthy one. We got Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the background. Coleslaw. Eating the, grabbing the clown bone. 
Bone, bone clown shad. You're about to lose him. You're about to lose him. He's gone. Cole! No! That's okay. That's okay. He wasn't a big, big one. We need to... Right. Let me, let me see that color quick. Because this is a really cool color. Cole's got this guy on, which is like a... Clown shad bone. That's cool. I like that. Oh, look. There's a jerk bait coming up to the rock pile. And I'm going to pause it in your face for 15 seconds. And he ate it. <laughs> That's cheating, Cole. <laughs> I was like, whoa, there's fish. Oh, my jerk bait's 20 feet past it. I'm just going to haul ass up to him really quick and then just pause it right in his face forever. And he has no choice. It's staying on so well. These fish got some gnarly teeth right now, too. Not a big in, but yep, yep, yep. Fun. Like stuck to my fingers with his sharp little freaking teeth. Rock pile off the edge of it here. That's what that guy was on. Beauty! Amy, Amy something's flashing over there. I think I would have learned my lesson with boat clipping, but I want to be like Ron and Kenny when I grow up, Dad. Nice. Look at him. He's quivering. He is quivering. Emmy, you don't want to lick that one. He had a seizure. Yes. Twitch, twitch. Pause. Gulp. Yeah. He's on there. He's probably big, too, if he threw that much slack. No, he's not. You crappied him. him. You crappied him. Drop the poles. Cole found the school. <laughs> the wrong school, Cole. Don't hook me. Jesus. Look at this. I've caught... All the crappie I've caught have been the mouth. Get Cole out here, and he freaking is just snagging. Just ripping. Well, epic little morning session here. I don't know how many we ended up with, but probably easily over a 20 pound lemon, including a couple five plus pounders on the freaking provoke jerk bait with the damn crank craft. That thing looks so freaking sexy on there. Again, MF20, go click the link down below, pick you guys up some crank crafts. I'm excited to work with those guys. It's a freaking local company, and I'm even more jacked that the product is awesome. They're stuck on the crank baits uh, on the jerk baits we got so i'm so excited to support those guys you guys should support them too if you guys have a lake like this right now this time of year when the water temperature is in the mid to high 30s all the way up until about 50 degrees and you don't have a lot of shad in the lake and do exactly what we did scan around find yourself a whole bunch of crappie and bluegill whatever forage base you have and then find where those spots intersect with the nearest isolated cover whether that be a rock pile a brush pile or even better a brush pile next to a rock pile. Had so many bites today where I hit the brush pile with the jerk bait, turned the pan optics to it and looked at it, pulled it out just a little bit and let it sit there forever and just sawfish come up and just slurp it on in. If you guys like the bass fishing videos like this, I'm gonna drop a playlist right up here. And we'll catch you guys very soon. We got a lake we're going to right now that uh, this afternoon could be freaking on fire with much bigger fish than this even. I'm excited for it. But for me, Cole the camera guy and Huxley and Emmy the fish and pooches, we're out of here.